Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a BMW engine that has been used in BMW 1 series and 2 series. I'm talking about a 4 cylinder gasoline engine M20. This is the 2.0 engine, guys. So, if you have that engine and you're trying to find TDC point, top dead center point, guys, and where to put the TDC pin, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain all that today. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW here, we make more than 200 videos, guys, we take them completely apart. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Now, that same engine has been used in the 5 Series as well, it's been used in multiple BMWs, some of you may not know that, but many of you ask me, how do you find TDC point on uh, BMW 1 Series and 2 Series with the N20 engine? So that's what we're covering today. If you need to buy the twos, for the timing, replacement parts, timing chains, anything like that, links will be shared in the description of the video below, guys, for your convenience. So, let me start by showing you what we'll be using now. Okay, uh, the whole tool kit, okay, we're going to cover that now. Uh, but this is, guys, okay, this is the pin right here. And uh, this is, okay, this is uh, the whole tool that we need for timing, guys. So, this tool, okay, it will be right here. So looking at that too now guys, okay, this is the TDC pin right there. Now, in order to put that TDC pin guys, you have one hole on the engine block that you will need to open by removing that plug. Okay, this is the plug right here. So that little device, it's super hidden guys and we'll show you where it's located now. So make sure you stay with us until the end. So we're going to close the tool now. You guys need to position a 22 millimeter wrench on the crankshaft, never go counterclockwise only go clockwise guys okay pushing down to turn your engine okay and we will explain okay what to look for in order guys okay to find okay to find that um, tdc uh, tdc point on your engine guys now you have one hole on the on the flywheel when that f f uh, hole aligns with the hole on the uh on the engine block what will happen guys okay what will happen Okay, you slide that through the engine block and it locks the flywheel in place. But you can do that in two ways. Why? Because for every revolution the crankshaft does, the camshafts do only half. So if you do two revolutions on the crankshaft, camshafts does one uh, revolution, guys. So when you bring the engine to uh, top dead center, which means that the cylinder number one piston is all the way up, right before it starts going down, it could be in two different positions, okay? all the way up but the camshafts will be in two different positions excuse me and uh, they may be 180 degrees off so you will need to uh, wait until the end and i'm going to explain about that part but now tdc point guys i will go underneath and i'll show you where we remove that plastic plug from okay and i will explain where we're going to position that thing it's not easy guys okay sorry for the chaotic camera work now i'm going underneath it will be a big mess, leaking oil everywhere, so, yep, you can see. Now, this is, guys, where we remove the oil pan of that car. Okay, oil pan is out, you can see this is the flywheel here. On the flywheel, you will be able to see one hole. I will not be able to show you with the camera, it's practically impossible for me to stick it in there, guys, and show you. Okay, but if you come... Okay, give me a second now, because I just got stuck yep. so if you come right here this is the transmission housing we have the exhaust disconnected okay and if you come right here okay uh, behind the exhaust on the cylinder block uh, on the engine block you're going to have one hole where you remove that piece that I told you okay and then you're going to find Okay, that hole somewhere. Oh, right there. I went in, guys. Now, you need to align, okay, get it all the way in. One, it once, okay, the crankshaft, excuse me, the flywheel hole is there. Now, if you push it in, sometimes it may get stuck on a flywheel bolt. And you may not be able to turn your engine, so when it's stuck in that hole, you will not be able to turn your engine clockwise or counterclockwise. Ours is already there. If you look through here, if you get a small light, I will not be able to do it with the camera, guys. But you can see the pin actually going in that hole. 
Okay, it's doable. It's visible. So ours. Okay, let me make sure that it's all the way in now. Give me a second. Okay, all the way in. And I will go out. Okay, give me a second. I will go out. And now guys, if it's in TDC point, you will not be able to turn the crankshaft at all. Okay, try to go both ways now. Why? Because if you hit a flywheel bolt, what will happen? You may stop going counter uh, going clockwise, but you will be able to go back. If you're in that hole, it will be stuck in there. Now, how do you know that the camshafts are at TDC point? Simple, guys. Okay, these holes need to face on the right side. Now, this one is off. Why? Because we jumped the timing. We have broken timing chain guide, but this hole should be about right here, I think. This one is here. If they're on the left side, you are 180 degrees off so you need to do one more revolution on the cam on the crank shaft excuse me this is the tool you bolt it usually to the cylinder head here and that pin okay shoot a line with the pulleys once you do all that guys okay this is tdc point hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out uh, thank you for watching guys if you want to see the whole timing chain replacement video everything from start to finish You'll be on our main channel, Auto Repair. Guys, check it out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.